When it comes to the world's oldest companies, who comes to mind first? Is it Germany's Mercedes-Benz, Coca-Cola from the United States, General Electric, or Kawasaki Heavy Industries from Japan? Strictly speaking, these companies can only be called centenarian enterprises, as they are not the record holders for the oldest companies. Surprisingly, the world's oldest companies do not come from the UK, France, or other Western countries. Most of them are located in Japan. This is partly due to Japan's long history and partly due to its unique culture of pursuing stability. In this episode, we won't consider the scale of the companies but will focus solely on the antiquity of their establishment. Let's take a look at some of the oldest companies or brands in the world based solely on their age. The Marinello Foundry Bell Company is a metal casting factory located in Italy, specializing in the casting of metal. Although the casting industry is relatively modern, this foundry has been in operation for nearly 1,000 years. In fact, if you have the opportunity to travel around Europe, you may hear the melodious chimes. Of bells in ancient Italian churches, many of which are likely manufactured by this company. Established in 1040, this bell foundry is the oldest in the world. Many of the famous clocks in European churches originate from the Marinello Foundry Bell Company. Today, the factory has also ventured into tourism, allowing visitors to experience the sound of bells that has echoed for centuries. 1. The Marinelli Bell Foundry is one of the oldest surviving and longest standing foundries in existence. 2. Visitors can purchase their own miniature bells for around $50, akin to a small trinket bell. 3. The foundry continues to employ traditional techniques for metal casting, adhering to its original methods. It has created many of the bells heard in Italy's historic churches today, adding to the rich tapestry of history. The presence of the Marinelli Bell Foundry not only witnesses the evolution of the casting industry but also carries the memories of history and the legacy of culture. Its perseverance and innovation over the millennia make it a treasure in Italy and the global casting industry. The Shuko Shinbatsuguko LTD is a company based in Nagoya, Japan, specializing in the production and wholesale of Buddhist temple supplies. Buddhism was introduced to Japan around the 5th century AD and has since remained the country's largest religion. Since its establishment in 1024 AD, this company has just celebrated. It's 1,000 years history, Shuko Shinbatsuguko, Limited. During the same period of its founding, there were many companies specializing in religious goods, but few have survived to the present day. It is one of the few millennium old companies, and this year, 2024, marks its 1,000th birthday. Let's congratulate them together. The company is dedicated to creating Buddhist altars, shrines, and other religious household decorations. These products are not only practical but also carry profound religious and historical significance. They are a center for manufacturing temple utensils, supplying Buddhist shops across Japan with various Buddhist utensils and supplies. People looking for Buddhist sanctuaries, decorations, or other religious products can still visit this store and purchase products with the same styles used by monks 1,000 years ago. Their products inherit the wisdom and aesthetics of millennia, showcasing Japan's ancient religious and cultural heritage to the world. Whether for temple rituals or personal beliefs, this company continues to uphold the essence of religious goods production, bringing tranquility and strength to people. Garand Castle is one of the famous castles on the Loire River, with a history dating back a millennium, closely associated with the Garand family. Throughout the vicissitudes of time, it has witnessed numerous changes in French history, with only a temporary shadow cast over its splendor during the French Revolution and the first half of the 19th century. Despite its name, the castle is, in fact, a winery established around Ad 1000, making it the oldest existing wine-producing facility in France. What's even more remarkable is that for over a thousand years, Garand Castle has not only persisted in winemaking but has also remained under the helm of the same family. The Garand family held on to this estate until 1788 when it was sold to the Dutch ship owner Pitter Derbrouck. 
Fortunately, this change of hands spared the castle from harm during the French Revolution, allowing it to be preserved. Then, in 1858, a member of the Garand family repurchased the estate, reclaiming this illustrious property for the family. Recent reports suggest that the company may have been listed for sale in recent years, potentially ceasing its winemaking operations soon. Nevertheless, it remains one of the oldest wineries in history and one of the longest standing family enterprises in human history. The so called Kabushigaiza in Japan actually means corporation or limited company. Established in the year 970 AD, Nakamura Shoji Ko, LTD is engaged in the construction industry, with many of Japan's ancient buildings attributed to their craftsmanship. Although it has endured for over a millennium, it ranks as the second oldest construction company in history. This construction company enjoys a prestigious reputation in the Japanese construction industry, hailed as one of the world's oldest and still operational construction companies. While the oldest construction company in human history recently closed its doors, Nakamura Shoji now stands at the forefront of the construction field. Specializing in carpentry, they are renowned for constructing many classic Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines. Their craftsmanship and designs showcase the unique style and exquisite skills of ancient Japanese architecture. Nakamura Shoji represents both tradition and innovation in the Japanese construction industry. Through continuous effort and excellent craftsmanship, they have maintained their leading position. Their focus on carpentry and attention to detail have earned them respect in the construction world. The existence and continuous development of Nakamura Shoji demonstrate the company's significance in the construction industry and their contribution to preserving and perpetuating Japanese architectural culture. The Royal Mint of England was established in 886 AD, a time when England had just recovered London from two invasions by the Danes. As its name suggests, the primary business of this company is coin production. Being government-owned and operating in a monopoly industry with minimal risk, it has generated substantial profits. For over a millennium, throughout its over a thousand years history, the Royal Mint has operated from several different headquarters, reflecting its adaptability and evolution. Proudly one of the oldest continuously operating companies in human history, it takes pride in employing its own citizens and maintaining profitability. Currently, the Royal Mint produces approximately 500 million coins annually, underscoring its importance and high efficiency in the British currency supply. In addition to coins, the Royal Mint also produces medals as rewards for officials, showcasing its diversified capabilities in commemorative item production. This company also specializes in religious supplies and is headquartered in Kyoto. It was established in the Heian period in the year 885 AD, making it the oldest existing religious supply company in the world. When it comes to religious supply stores, Westerners might think of chain stores like Martel, which are a chain of shops selling religious items spread across Europe. However, the history of Tanaka IGA company far surpasses that of European chain stores, and many of the products they sell are made on site. Tanaka IGA Company is focused on Buddhist products, providing various necessities for Buddhist temples and believers. Its products include Buddha statues, incense burners, prayer beads, and scriptures. Despite having only about 10 employees, Tanaka IGA Company manufactures ritual implements and Buddhist utensils for various sects such as Shingon and Tendai. Moreover, even today, Tanaka IGA Corporation maintains a stubborn tradition, refusing to sell food and drinks in all of their stores because the family controlling the company believes it is a blasphemy against Buddhism. With the development of the times, the company's product catalog now supports 3D rendering, allowing customers to virtually view three-dimensional catalogs of Buddhist utensils when wearing 3D glasses. Additionally, the CG gallery on the company's website also features videos of Buddhist utensils with the same effect as the product. Catalog. Although it is an old and established brand, it has spared no effort to adapt to the development of the times. The French Monet de Paris, located in Paris, was established in the year 864 AD, making it one of the oldest mints in human history. This year belonged to the late Tang Dynasty in China and Iceland was also discovered by Norwegian pirates during this time. Despite being a French mint, Monet de Paris doesn't solely produce French currency. 
They maintain a neutral stance and accept orders from around the world, ranging from francs to pounds sterling and euros. Established as the first factory in Paris, the Mani de Paris is now the last remaining operational factory in the city. Over the course of 12 centuries, it has nurtured a rich tradition of metalworking and craftsmanship. Every year, Mani de Paris produces approximately 1 billion circulation coins at its PESAC facility, with half of them destined for export. Shortly after France joined the European Union, Mani de Paris swiftly transitioned to producing euros. As France's primary minting institution, they began manufacturing and distributing the new euro coins. During the Nazi occupation, Mani de Paris was even compelled to produce German currency, marking a regrettable period in history, but also highlighting its importance and functionality as a minting facility. Today, while the original facilities in Paris still operate, they primarily serve as museums, housing a vast collection of ancient coins. If you ever find yourself in France, it's worth a visit. The Stauffenberg Winery, located in Rhineland Palatinate, Germany, is one of the oldest wineries in the country, established in the year 862. Initially a small brewery producing beer, it gained prominence due to the influx of Roman soldiers who frequented the establishment, leading to its transformation into a winery. As part of the Holy Roman Empire, the winery endured various upheavals and wars throughout history. Despite suffering damage during both World War I and World War II, it managed to survive and was rebuilt after the wars. Today, it not only functions as a winery but also serves as an inn, offering delightful wines and comfortable accommodations. Having withstood the fall of the Roman Empire, as well as the devastation of two world wars where countless lives were lost, the winery stands as a testament to resilience and preservation. Of note, the Stauffenberg Winery boasts over seven hectares of vineyards, cultivating a variety of high-quality grapes including Riesling, Pinot Noir, and Burgundy varietals. Nowadays, the winery has become a renowned tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world. It offers tours and tasting events, allowing visitors to experience the winemaking process firsthand and learn about the winery's rich history. Recognized as a cultural heritage site in Germany, it represents the country's rich tradition of winemaking. Chinese people invented paper making around 105 AD, and it was introduced to Japan by Korean monks around 610 AD. The oldest surviving paper company, however, was established in 771 AD before the establishment of Kyoto during the Heian period. During the late Edo period, the Matoda family inherited the business from the Yagiyama Zenbei and became the Yajimai Matoda store. They even supplied their products to the imperial palace until the Meiji era. Later, in order to meet market demands, the current Genta Paper Industry Co. LTD shifted its focus to personalized products such as custom-made greeting cards, packaging paper, ceremonial paper, and more. In 1986, the Matoda Industry Co. LTD was established. However, it is said that after the war, the company's business declined to wholesale and printing paper products, and it has since ceased operations. Recently, when someone visited to inquire about the current situation, they found that a transportation company's courier service center occupied the first floor of what used to be the store, with couriers coming and going. Although there was a sign with the name Genda Shijioko, LTD, there was actually no such company. It became evident that the closure had indeed occurred. The upper floors of the five-story building are likely residential, and the company may continue to operate as a real estate leasing business or simply as the landlord, since the company did not go bankrupt, it may continue to rent out properties. Witnessing the end of a millennium old company is indeed somewhat saddening. This is the aforementioned oldest surviving construction company, established in 578 AD. In other words, this company emerged more than 100 years after the fall of the Roman Empire. In 578 AD, at the invitation of Prince Shotoku, a craftsman involved in the construction of the Shitenoji Temple founded the company. Despite being destroyed seven times during periods of turmoil, the Shitenoji Temple was rebuilt each time by the Kongo Gumi. Additionally, many of Japan's ancient buildings are their works, including the Horyuji Temple built in 607 AD, renowned as the pinnacle of Japanese wooden architecture. Osaka Castle 
Built in the 16th century as a formidable military fortress and one of Japan's three famous castles, and Q Furukawa Gardens, Q Iwasaki Gardens, and Koishikawa Korakuen Gardens, constructed during the Takugawa Shogunate era and are important cultural heritage sites in Japan, the longevity of Kongogumi can be attributed to two main factors. The practice of incorporating sons-in-law into the family business ensured the continuation of the company under the family name even when there was a shortage of male heirs. Making Buddhist temple construction their main business was vital for Kongo Gumi's survival, given the millions of followers of Buddhism. However, due to its primary focus on designing, constructing, restoring, and repairing Shinto shrines, Buddhist temples, castles, and cultural heritage sites, Kongo Gumi gradually lost its edge in the competitive modern construction industry. In 2006, Kongo Gumiko, LTD filed for bankruptcy due to mismanagement. But fortunately, there were interested buyers willing to acquire the company. After the acquisition, the new owner retained the name Kongo Gumiko, LTD, ensuring the company's continuation to this day. Alright, that's all for today's content. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you all next time.